Alrighty hi tankers and welcome back. Right, sorry for bothering you twice in one day. But I've been playing a few more games in the Cromwell Knight, the new tier 6 British medium premium tank. And I'm having a lot of fun in it. Really, really just wanted to share this replay with you guys. I had a lot of fun. Hopefully you'll enjoy watching the replay. Right, so as I said earlier, this tank has just been released, the Cromwell Knight. It's going to cost you 4,400 gold, get 7 days premium, 1 fully trained skill, and a few premium rounds. In my Is It Worth the Gold video earlier, I said it was probably worth the gold, depending on, you know, whether you have the money or not. If you have the money to spend on premium tanks, then it's not a bad little tank at all, and I'm pretty sure. This is going to be my favourite tank in the whole game. A bit like the Cromwell Berlin is for a lot of other people who play PC. Right, so I've already ninja the first kill. And almost ninja the second kill already. This game is only just started. This is my only criticism about this tank. It, the ground resistances seem to be slightly not as good as the stock Cromwell. Oh, the normal Cromwell, pretty sure it would have powered up that slope, no problem. But I can handle that. The extra track traverse you get with this tank makes it so much more fun. So much more useful. Another PZS to fell. Can we ninja kill number two? Yes, we can. So we killed a T28, almost killed one PZSFL, and then another one appeared, and we killed him. And hopefully we kill this VK. There we go. That's the third kill ninja. Time for an M3 lead. As I said earlier, the accuracy on this tank is not as good as the stock Cromwell, but I don't feel that is an issue. Um, as you can see there, only missed one shot really. And we pick up kill number four. So, just over two minutes of the game done. Two kills. Two kills? Four kills in the bag. Derp. I'm sure that is new from the new update. I swear whatever was there before you could break, but it doesn't seem like you can break it anymore. And I lose a bit of time there. I think that's one of the recently updated Panzer Force for the nice skirt armor. Pretty nice. Can we ninja kill number five? Yeah, bingo. Five kills. Happy days. This tank is so epic. I can't even describe it really. Right, so we're capping, but we've just started to be capped. From previous experience, I know that if you leave it to other people to defend the cap, it probably goes wrong. But there's kills to be had. Oops, that was a bit bad. I didn't lose much health there, if any. Here we go, let's see what trap traverse is like. I've got to get around this guy. Well, I could switch to premium, it wouldn't matter, but that costs money. Don't really, really need to use premium. That VK, he's got the good gun, he's got the Konish on there, he could pen me so easily, but just look how good our track traverse and turret traverse is, compared to his. We pick up another kill. Time for a Jackson. Don't want to get hit by his big gun. But I've swung a bit wide, so it's looking like I am actually going to get hit again. Oh, and the bounce! Didn't want to bounce, so I've taken a hit, but I've still got plenty of health left. And our track traverse is just making him look silly. Boom. Picked up. The seventh kill. An I spy, an 88. Indeed. So that's a Radley Walters. There's still two enemies left and have some time. When this was happening, I, was, I just had Paul's medal in my head. And I think that sort of put me off a little bit, put me off my game. I should have just carried on how I was, just making sure I got done what I needed to get done. Mm. 
As you can see there, it might be 50 degrees second track traverse, but when you're on soft ground, like most tanks, it does bog in a little bit. So you need to still need to be a bit picky about where you choose to circle straight tank. Right, so there's a KV-85, he was on full health, he turns to look towards me, I, if he's got the 122mm, I do not have enough hit points left now to take a hit, which means Paul's mail out the window, the, the other tank squad has just been taken down. I snapped, oh I didn't, auto aimed a shot there, and only got a critical hit, I could have picked up the ninth kill there, but never mind. What a brilliant match in the Cromwell Knight, I love this thing, it's so much fun. If you've got the money or if you've already got the gold in your account, go and get it. It's great fun. Look at that. High caliber, mastery ace tanker. What else have we got there? Got the Radley Walters for the eight kills. Devastator for seven. Got a sniper as well, I think. And the top gun medal. Not a nice, but well, not a nice, quite a nice little bag of medals there. Happy days. Decent amount of base experience, 8 kills, not far off 3,000 damage, and 5 medals. Happy days. That is the Cromwell Knight down to a T. It is epic. Right, there we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this replay. I just thought I'd share it with you. It was a bit of fun I'd had today. Like I was said in the other video, the Cromwell night it's really going to bring some fun back into the game for me it was getting a bit boring a bit stale with the same old tanks all the time i used to play the old cromwell a little bit now and again just to cheer myself up but the new cromwell the cromwell knight just seems to be that much more fun with the track traverse and stuff like that and yeah go get it guys have some fun right I hope you enjoyed this Ace Tanker replay. Please give it a like if you did. Sub if you're not. And I'll catch you on the next one. See you later.